all right the I'm just going to document this because this is the plan this screened in porch was added on about 20 years ago I just redid that deck about three or four months ago but out now I want to close in this screened in porch and make it a room You know that's all supported but I was curious because when this deck was built I didn't build it you know some a contractor built it but I was just curious and I, this is what I was going I just cut this off and this is what's four of these and there are supports underneath it hadn't moved at all but this is that's actually the first I pulled that up that's 20 years that's that's how deep it's in not in concrete but it looks to be adequate there because i'm gonna have a six by six notched out that'll be the corner and then i just took a piece of cardboard kind of got it kind of been moving it about six o'clock at night i started this this morning tore off the steps put all those forms in there 12 inch it's about 16 inches deep a couple of the notchings this is the corner post it's going to have two two by eights and then it's going to have just one over there on the corner and then this is one that's just going to have a single two by eight and then i'm going to have two more that's going to have two two by eight just the way the thing's framed but these are the two outer ones I just went and bought that off of Craigslist. I'm going to close in this porch back here. I've been talking about it for a year. I've already found some windows I'm going to put in here. But the problem has always been venting this ceiling. Say I got a roof put on and the dumbasses didn't pay attention and ran these inch and a half nails through three quarter decking and kind of ruin the look i wanted to close it in anyway i'm going to close that side off and i'm going to put a picture window there there and a sliding window there but i didn't know how to insulate i need to cut a ridge vent up here that's a doubled up two by ten and the roofer said he didn't want to put the ridge vent in there because you would have to cut bigger than three inches. Well, I'm getting ready to get up there today and cut about a half inch on each side of that, which will give me four inches. And here's the insulation board. That's the first piece that I've cut. You can see out there, I was wondering what's the best way to cut it utility knife whatever without making a huge mess well i'm making a huge mess but i just took a regular uh hand saw cut right through it does make a mess but i'm gonna put that table over the tarp and get my vacuum out and just make a mess but that i could cut that piece in about 15 seconds all right this is a couple of hours later and i cut my ridge vent up there I, uh, since I have a doubled up ridge beam see that hole up there I drilled a hole three quarters in on both ends and ran a chalk line and then cut made a plumb cut so I didn't cut very big so that hole up there is basically four and a quarter I've just got enough I'm thinking with convection with my insulation that'll and I'm going to vent my soffit and then that'll just run straight up there on a hot day
But anyway, I called about three roofers, the guy who just put this roof on three years ago and I couldn't get him to come back. I've got attic ventilators up there, but this is what I just cut in. And that worked perfect because I, I needed 11 and a half feet and that's, I didn't have the exact shingle so I just went and got GAF black. This is a fairly out of square bay, but I need a piece 14 and a quarter. Supported, it'll break off and mesh and cut up a little bit. Of course, I left my damn tripod at the farm, so this is the closest I got, but this is what we're doing. I'm going to order the windows today. ordered my windows I got all of my insulation put up here my two inch foam whatever it is polystyrene polyiso I'm going to tape those joints but that all fit like a glove but my original soffit was not vented I've just got it vented every, you know, every couple of pieces around the rest of the house where I've got a power attic ventilator here. I'm replacing this. This was done in like 1999, but see now I'll be able to, that'll run straight up to the ridge vent I cut on top of that poly. And then this is what I'm taking out. And that is... Let's see if you can even see on top of that poly, maybe. I can't see what that's seeing, but you probably can see if you can see on the top of the, up to the ridge vent. But anyway, this is what I'm replacing. It's re relatively simple. It's the exact same stuff. Just put another piece in and put a screw up there and then snap the next piece in. sides and then button that up put the gutter back up and then I'm going to tape the seams I like the numbering because you can hold it and then you can say oh I need to cut to right here I'm doing it in small pieces
roof insulated up there with two inch foam. I put my soffit up there the other week. I just put these gutters back here. here because I'm going to put a mini split and I'm probably going to hang it on this wall. Now this addition has been on here for 20 years. This is actually just the old masonite but in 20 years time and it ran across here I just peeled this strip off of here and nailed it up here and I'm going to continue with hardy plank up in here. I'm, I'm just going to continue with that since that's been there for 20 years and is completely sound you know if it ain't broke I had to peel this board off because they had cut the top of it and then my overlap would not have been the same so now I'm starting back with hardy plank so I wasn't exactly sure how to cut that so I just came and made me a little template like that priming the ends as I cut them with that and here's the here's the matching piece of this and I've already primed all the edges and this should you know match up plenty good and then I'm just going to continue on up with Hardy I've been just go, going to the shop and getting a piece of board that I can prop up in the corner that holds the end up right at the mark that I need and this is already cut and everything already marked my seven inch reveal I had a guy come over and help me put these behemoth windows in here and I had my GoPro out there and forgot to cut the darn thing on but anyway they're 70 by 54 that's like the max size or 72 by 54 that's almost the max size without going to another type of glass little bit to cut through my metal door for my new doggy door. I've got a screen door on my porch up there, one I made in my hundred and do I need to cut more right there? My hundred and ten pound dog has been squatting through a little now she has to come up it's about 17 inches but there was a cross member and i couldn't and plus she got big she was smaller when i made the door now this one is one that i bought i'm gonna show you it's pretty cool but she come up to the shoulder height which is 24 inches so now she should basically just be able to step into this i have to hang and frame the door so I'm just going to fit this and then leave it out. But this is a pretty cool design of all the ones that I looked at. Some of them just have plastic you mount in here. Can, let me see if you can see that. Some of them just have plastic. This is actually aluminum. And then they sandwich together. like that which is pretty cool and then you don't screw through the face you go you open the door and then screw on the inside plus this one has this these latches and you can lock the door when you leave all right 
right, this is what I'm doing now. This is what I'm replacing, this 20-year-old screen door that I made this for my 100-pound Great Pyrenees mix. But I had this turnbuckle and I couldn't really make it any higher and she was smaller then. So now I just dry fit this door in my porch that I'm working on here. The porch, this side slants about an inch. But anyway, I put my threshold down and I've got an angle. I'm going to cut a shim and all that, but I just put the door in, fits perfect. Got a gap up there. I'm probably going to put brick mold around that anyway. The screened in door was mounted there. I've got a window, of course, going here. fitted out there on the table when I cut the thing out. Now it comes with pop rivets but I'm not using those now because I don't want to I want to be able to take it off and on to paint the door. I mean when I get finally ready I'll probably put a thin bead of caulk but then it's more permanent. But these the flap which has magnets all around is pretty tight and these are the screws that came with it which is a pretty shallow pan head but I'm gonna find something shallower because they slightly rub even though the door swinging in seems to close past it and I just drilled my own holes but that way you don't have any on the face this is a pretty slick little system You got more room, come on. Come on through. See? Cut my stringers. I went ahead and stained the bottoms and all the sides and everything so they'll last longer. And I tore the old steps off, which were basically just sitting in dirt, except for they were attached to four by four posts. The four by fours were rotted after 20 years, but everything else looked good. I just put that little cleat down there at the bottom to extend it down and I'm not going to pour a pad I'm just going to I've got these nice and level and tamped down good and so I'm going to just run my stringers it's only going to be two steps and then I'm going to put a I've got them wide these are 59 inches I'm gonna have like 60 inch steps and put a 4x4 four four over there in the ground and just put one railing Sandy this is update on my porch project I hadn't filmed anything in a while I can't remember if I showed those steps or not I got that door off of Craigslist and Put about three coats of paint it's just dried in there i've got my came with a not nice quick set knob that matches my other ones even though it's a different color i just put this kind of trim here all right i set this window in and this this porch is angled a total this is 12 feet wide and this thing is has a good one inch drop to this side out here I've already had to you know account for that putting my hardy over there I'm 
but I just put this window in, which I left three quarters in the width, and that was barely enough. I had to trim the plastic seams on there to even barely get the thing in there. And it's level across the top, and the window's nice and level, <clears throat> but when I set it in there, of course, I was flush here, and I had almost a three quarter inch gap out there this this window is just set in here and you can see how that is how this porch has been trimmed with cut off decking boards one inch all right after this one coming out so good and having this gap i decided to take this one loose and cut it back an inch down there and an inch and a half over here all right i'm finishing up my porch here and this is what I'm cutting down to trim. This is just a almost a scrap board at Lowe's. This like a one by four by eight is two ninety five. But actually, if you sand it and the edges are eased, and I'm just ripping down the size that I need, like this porch slopes off. I had to slope that to fill in the gap down here and then over here so that my reveal would be even. I've tapered this board. I've only got a couple of nails in it, but that's going to leave me just enough of a caulk joint. And over here, and I've got a nice eased edge already. But I went ahead and cut them, and then pre-primed them. Just put a coat of kills, because I'm going to come back over and paint all this. But see, all it is is this <clears throat> pretty rough spruce, but you know, a light coat of sanding. And then just put that up in there like that. All right, here is where we are on the porch project. I'm still waiting on a mini split, so I haven't buttoned this up yet. But I've got this, which will keep it cool, but I've got an air compressor out there that takes about 10 amps. That's a 15 amp plug and that thing takes nine. So I'm cutting it off between nailing. But anyway, I just put up my first two pieces of ship lap that I've already pre-painted. For one, the way that I measured these boards because I couldn't use a tape measure is I peeled that piece of baseboard off. That's exactly 136 inches. Well, I could take that and run it end to end and every one of these boards is pretty much within an eighth of an inch of 136. I mean, it's pretty darn square. And now that I'm all the way up here to the top, that is exactly four and a quarter almost the whole way i mean this this porch is that square
top door, left door. Captain's log, August 9th, 2022, still working on my porch. It's about quarter to seven. Finally got my air put up over there. My little Samsung mini split. I just hung this light. I got this from a customer. Just put a dimmer in there yesterday. Still getting waiting on deciding on window treatments one of these probably this I'm still figuring out this thing just runs all the time but as you can see that's the noise and it's got a variable speed fan I have it on cool and on auto but I mean I'm going to put floors down here. I have the floor insulated with this same two inch. Poly, but there's gaps in here, so I've got some steam coming up. So I'm waiting to finish up that little bit of sheetrock right there. A guy's going to help me. And then this is what's going down for the floor. I'm going to put a layer of felt a layer of this foam and then this engineered floor I've got left over. All right, here's this thing running before the heat pump comes on and you can hear it. Which this little thing here magnifies sound, but see that's running there. Now this picks up any little wind noise, so if you stick it in front of the fan, but you can just hear the gases I guess in there but that's about it I mean this thing is virtually silent no vibration whatsoever started putting these floors down these are some real wood engineered I bought about seven or eight years ago off of Craigslist. Now you can only find LVP. This is pretty good stuff. I put this in a cabin and I'm out about I'm probably gonna be just shy of finishing and then I'm gonna, I'm leaving a little bit where I'm gonna put my baseboard and my shoe mold. I did this in a cabin, it's just totally floating. But see, I've got deck flooring over here. And so then I'm putting roofing felt down and I have one roll of actual underlayment floor and that's what I put in the cabin but this stuff right here is packing that comes with a product I sell and I've been saving it and it's basically the same thing it's a slight pain because I'm seaming it but it's really not that big a deal all right this is where I am today I was just about, my legs were so tired putting that floor down, I got a little bit more of that to do, but I went ahead and got on, I went ahead and coughed it up for this TV here. We've got one just like it in the bedroom. That's the cheaper 7,000 series, but the 8,000 I think has one or two more hookups, but just for what we're going to use it for, that's fine. And I just went and got that bracket and about the only place out here to put the TV was on that wall there so I came through here all right this is about my porch is about wrapped up 
there's little Pee Wee. Pee Wee! Hey, Sandy! They come through this door here. This is what she ended up looking like. I'm still not quite through. Came out pretty nice. I'm a foot. There's Sandy. Come on, Sandy. Come on, Sandy. I'm a foot short on the flooring, which I've got a box of it already bought up in Charlotte, but I've got to go pick it up. But this is flooring that I already had. I'm sure I mentioned it 20 times in my previous videos. I knew I was going to be short, but with the rug, it really doesn't matter for right now. We don't even use this door. This is, I sell window treatment, so this is some of my stuff. These are pretty cool. Cordless. Had the rug. That's about a 50 year old rug from Moran. Dog looks out before she goes. She'll just look out there and see if birds are on the bird feeder or whatever. But that's a pretty cool thing. It's magnetic. So that keeps pretty energy efficient you know as far as the doggy door goes closes right back good and then we have our little thing for the mini split see it's on 74 but it's on 72 it normally stays a degree or two cooler I ended up mounting the TV over there on the wall with one of these pretty cool brackets you know that you can you can pull it out a foot or probably 18 inches and swivel it around if you need to but again that's how it came out looks pretty good especially when you look back what it used to look like a lot of the stuff aside from the window treatments Bought that chair off a of marketplace. Bought that chair off the of marketplace. Had the rug. Bought that sofa off a of marketplace. That was brand new. Had the lamp. The biggest expense were the windows, which I just got those at Home Depot. And those are their American Craftsman Silver Line series, which I'm totally pleased with those. That's a nice window. These are fixed, and that's a slider. And I bought the doors again. I'm repeating myself off of Marketplace. And I bought the ship lap at a salvage place. And traded out the chandelier with a customer and and then that mini split that was three grand installed and i had to run power to my uh, box over there run 220 so that was all included which actually i had the wire and i bought the breaker but anyway i'm pretty pleased and we've been using the heck out of this for about a month now so Anyway, that's my final post for now. Tickled with it, and it was well worth it. Alrighty, y'all take her easy.